A lot's going on in the world of wrestling. We, of course, owe an awful lot to this man, Hollywood Wayne. Eric Boyd, Wayne, how are you? Scott Casper, if I got any better, I'd have to be two people just back from the U.S. Open. But I understand you've got some things you want to talk about. I do, and I'm going to ask you the questions. First and foremost, the 51st Annual Ken Craft Midlands Championships live event going on in Chicago. 53 years. It's an event that's well attended, great teams, great performance. What can you tell us about an event like this in its importance to the sport? Oh, my gosh. The history of that event. I mean, Ken Kraft himself, he's a legend. He coached forever at Northwestern. He started that event back in the 60s, I'm sure. I never had the pleasure of wrestling in it. I was always at the Wilkes on the East Coast. But I think guys like Gable and Kemp lived off of that tournament. And today, I understand you got David Taylor there. Is that true? That is absolutely true. Uh, uh, it's It's guys like David Taylor for me that just – trip my trigger about this event when you saw so many Olympians and guys like Gable and the Hawkeyes doing so well over the years. It's where a lot of folks either made their name or solidified their names. We've got big guys like uh, uh, NC, NC State's heavyweight that are going to just light up the board. Yeah, this, these guys are great. And that's a, that's a hard check. You know, here we are going into the new year. You get to go out there and test your skills against not just guys that are wrestling at your level, all levels. You'll have some old timers show up there that are still great. Uh, it's a great event. It's great for the sport. And you really get to measure yourself. You know, David Taylor, he just wrestled Kyle Dake at the U.S. Open. Can't help but go back to the U.S. Open, one of the greatest wrestling action events I've ever seen. Talk a little bit about the event itself. It seems like it was pretty low-key in presentation, but the action, you say, some of the best you've ever seen. Talk about that. Well, uh, you know, for the life of me, I don't understand why we don't glamorize our USA wrestling events. Uh, For them, it's a qualifier. They're just trying to organize the right talent to go into the Olympic trials. But that event should have been held at Madison Square Garden. That event could have been held at the Forum. That event could have been 10,000 people in the stands. Because the one thing we lack in this sport is an audience. And the reason we don't have an audience is because we don't glamorize what we're doing. We will put on some of the greatest matches at 57 kilos, 65 kilos, Uh, 74 kilos. I mean, how and Perry, what a match. I mean, great stuff. We hadn't seen Perry down at 163 in years. Well, he decided he wasn't big enough for 86 kilos. He drops down and challenges Hal. Had Hal beat. Hal was too strong, too steady at that weight. But trust me, keep your eye on Chris Perry. And uh, this Hal kid is as tough as they come. Burroughs will have his work cut out for him in April at the Olympic trials. Next topic, Indian Professional Wrestling League, a huge success. Over $3 million was invested in the salaries for the athletes that were featured in this, the first year of the league. And there are six teams, by the way, in that league. And we had a superstar emerge from that event. And that, of course, was team captain Adeline Gray of the U.S. She scored tech fall after tech fall, helping her team Mumbai uh, to a team victory over Team Haryana. The score there, 7-2. Wayne, this is a very unique opportunity for the world to come together through the sport. We need to be talking to those people in India because they're obviously able to raise large amounts of money. I think you said $3 million? $3 million. Yeah, for an event. I mean, that's like an entire budget for many of our most important organizations here in the United States. So we need to be talking to those people, but I'd be curious to know how many people watched. I would be curious to know what kind of revenue was generated. Was it on TV? Was it streamed? Uh, Because if we don't start making money with our sport, our sport will eventually disappear at an Olympic level. Now, let let me make this very clear. We got into Olympic wrestling in 1904. Before that, the Greeks in the original Olympics wrestled. They wrestled naked. Women weren't allowed for many years to even attend. 
But once we got into 1904, we were directed by the Amateur Athletic Union. One of the worst things that ever happened to our sport is people think of us as amateurs, when in fact we're the greatest wrestlers in the world. I could kill Hulk Hogan. I would pin Hulk Hogan in less than two minutes. And his big body, he'd be going, how did the guy do that? And firemen's carry him to his back like he was the bear, and I'd hold him there. Because we're truly the greatest wrestlers in the world. And we shouldn't be called amateurs. So we've been on this amateur task for over a hundred years. And consequently, we don't get any attention. We don't get the media we need. We don't get the money we need. And I'm sick of it. And I'm reaching out to the fans of America. If there's a wrestling event in your area, get off the couch and go. And we will make this sport more popular. We will make it a better activity to watch. You will understand the rules. But we need you to show up. So from now all the way to World Cup in June, let's support wrestling like crazy. America will be the number one country in the world before 2020. And look out in 2016 because we got big surprises coming out of Iowa in April. Final question for you. Is Jordan Burroughs winning another world title the top story of the year, the top moment of your top 10? This year? We're talking 2015? Yes, sir. Uh, I don't know. I think I'd put Kyle Snyder in that position. I think him winning was the premier moment. 19-year-old American defeats seasoned Iranian and Russian wrestlers. Yeah, I'm going to throw my hat to Kyle Schneider, although I got all the respect in the world for Jordan Burroughs. Love to see him win another Olympic title in Rio. I think it's a great one. Kyle Snyder, absolutely deserving. Jordan Burroughs as well. But for me, over 42,000 fans attending a stadium event, Grapple on the Gridiron in Iowa City. Your final thoughts? Oh, my goodness. We got to do more of that. Every college in America ought to be thinking that way. I'm going to try to do a classic event at a professional basketball game, maybe L.A. Lakers and uh, Los Angeles Clippers halftime match between Burroughs and Dake at 170 pounds. How's that sound? I love it. Wayne Eric Boyd, always good to see you. Our best to everybody in Los Angeles. My best to that Adeline Gray and Helen Marulis. Those girls know how to wrestle.